His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. so far in Japan. I was immensely honoured to have been received by Their Majesties the Emperor and Empress earlier today and to have met the Crown Prince and Crown Princess afterwards. My grandmother the Queen has very happy memories of her visit here in 1975 and I know that we were all deeply touched as a family when the Emperor and Empress visited Windsor Castle in 2012 to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee just months after His Majesty's stay in hospital. It was an enormously generous gesture and hugely appreciated. I'm only sorry that Catherine and George cannot be here in Japan this time, but I know that she looks forward to visiting Japan in the future. I know that she's following my visit here closely and would have me pass you all her warmest greetings. In just 24 hours so far in Japan, I've had a chance to experience the blend of ancient and modern, which so characterises this amazing country. I can barely think of another country on earth which pays so much reverence to its ancient customs, whilst also being so outwardly modern. Of course, the United Kingdom too is known as a place where the ancient and modern coexist very comfortably alongside one another. The United Kingdom and Japan have a great deal in common and our links with one another go back centuries. The first British national, Will Adams, known here as Mura Anji, arrived on Japanese shores 415 years ago and spent the rest of his life teaching the Japanese shoguns maritime skills. I'm sure that he learned just as much from them. As two nations, we have been learning from each other ever since. At the end of the 19th century, Japan imported a great wave of technology and practice from the United Kingdom, from rail railways to whiskey. <laughs> In the second half of the 20th century, and into this, the exchange has been more two-way. Britain's car, train, and nuclear industries are reviving and becoming world-beating, thanks to Japanese investment from Hitachi Nissan, and many others. Our experiences of running the London Olympics and Paralympics are being actively shared with those here preparing for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. I have no doubt these will be a great success. The United Kingdom has a proud track record of giving the world life-changing products and designs. From the internet to the hypodermic syringe, and we have a long track record of opening our doors to entrepreneurs from overseas. Entrepreneurs like the three Japanese winners of the UK Tech Awards, who I'm about to meet, and who will visit Britain next month to understand for themselves how their businesses can benefit from what the United Kingdom has to offer. It's in that spirit of collaboration and a shared history that I'm proud to open the Innovation is Great campaign here in Tokyo. Thank you for joining us here today. Arigato gozaimasu. Why is it so important in space exploration? 
Well, I need uh, one more. Space is great. <laughs> it's a gateway to the bright future. It can share the dreams to stimulate the younger generation. And we can unite to promote peace in space. Fantastic. Thank you. Your Highness, I have to dare ask this question. That's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> the monarchy is perhaps uh, being more associated in the past with tradition rather than innovation. Uh, but I know that you're a keen supporter of this great campaign. Why? It's a very good point. Someone promised me something and it hasn't turned up yet. No. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I think the innovation uh, point and the reason why this uh, collaboration is so important is that um, innovation should be fun, should be creative, it should be imaginative, and it's, it's uh, something that the UK and Japan share very close links with. And I think going forwards, it's, it's about evolving with innovation, having new technology, having new, new ideas, but equally remembering the past. I think in order to move forwards with the new innovation, the new creativity that's out there, we must not forget where we've been, uh, but equally strive for a better future. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, you're a well-known helicopter pilot. <laughs> sure, I'm been, not an astronaut, though. <laughs> so, uh, so maybe we're moving into a, a new job on search and rescue. Uh, Mr. Noguchi also started his career as a helicopter pilot, I believe. So, sir, have you ever considered extending your own flight career in <laughs> space? I'm not sure why the Eurocopter will make it that far. Uh, I, have you seen uh, the 12 months on the water? I think mean, it's a pretty good reason why I'm not going to be here. <laughs> um, now, I, I'd like to say, I've, uh, when I was younger, I, um, I, I dreamt of being an astronaut, but no offence. But uh, I also thought that I was going to be uh, a policeman one day, so that was a, a very small boy. I've always wanted to say I'd be something like a fire breather, uh, but that's, uh, that's a far too alternative. So, uh, you know, I, sadly, just a policeman for me. I, I, never, I think something out there is I take huge, huge respect and I take my hat off to those who do go up there, but it's, um, it's just seems like an awfully long way to go. Very understandable. So, no, no competition. <laughs> Policeman or maybe an Aston Martin owner would be good as well. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I believe there's now a little chance to uh, exchange uh, a memento. Yeah, well, my highness, as uh, president of the World Astronaut Association, I've always worked on the space station. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> uh, today I have some small gift uh, which flew with me in space for 177 days. Each crew, each astronaut made their own patch to commemorate their mission. And this is the patch that we come up with my crew and crew with 377 days. And I want uh, to present you as a token of the friendship between you and Japan. Thank you. ceremony being carried out by a duke, an astronaut, and a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> and certainly we are embodying here, I think, a great UK-Japan uh, partnership on the stage. So, what's underneath, what's underneath here? I hope I'm going to do this without making any mistakes. <coughs> Oh. So, ta-da! <laughs> so this is a specially branded 
Innovation is, uh, is, is great, so a barrel of sake. <laughs> and uh, we're about to crack it open to mark the start of this new venture. And more importantly, perhaps, give you something to drink a little bit later. <laughs> so at this point of view, although I think it's probably too late, I'm going to relax the ban on photography. <laughs> At least 15 minutes too late. <laughs> Obviously this is an important uh, moment and I guess uh, we, we'd really like to get it, uh, everybody to have it on camera. So now if you're ready, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to say the traditional ichi ni no. Uh, <laughs> which as I told you, my Japanese is awful even after 13 years. And then we're going to crack open the uh, sake barrel. So, this is very dangerous, so. <laughs> First of all, we need the uniform. Now, everybody needs to take a hammer. I'm not quite sure where your security people are. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, you need to hit it around here. Uh, not in the middle, otherwise everybody gets splashed. <laughs> so, the bass is just there. Indeed, drink it all. And uh, I'm going to say the, uh, the, the, the words of each of you. And then we, we hit the barrel. So, are you ready, everybody? Yes. Ichi. Me. No. Oh. 